Welcome to GameSpot Live. I'm Greg Kasavin here to tell you all about Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire for the Game Boy Advance, the long-awaited GBA versions of uh, Nintendo's extremely popular Pokemon series. It's not hard to explain why Pokemon is so popular. It kind of combines the world's love of things that are cute with the world's love of things that are violent. Uh, it's all about these kind of uh, little cute animals beating the stuffings out of each other and, and about uh, these trainers trying to catch every last one of the critters and uh, in the game it's it's a role-playing game you get to assume the role of one of these trainers and, and try to catch as many of these things as you can while trying to become uh, the best Pokemon trainer in the world. Uh, if uh, this sounds familiar to you that's probably because you've played previous Pokemon games. With that said the games do feature all new graphics and more than a hundred new uh, Pokemon and a new story and new multiplayer features and some other new tidbits that are going to make this game um, exactly what Pokemon fans have been hoping for, as well as a great primer for those new to the series. As with the original Pokemon Red and Blue games for the Game Boy Color, uh, Ruby and Sapphire really aren't very different. Uh, the, uh, this bears mention because someone might mistakenly uh, want to buy both of them and there really isn't much point in that. Uh, the only real differences between the two games are uh, the color of the box and the cartridge, uh, the title screen, uh, a few very small points in the plot, and uh, a few of the Pokemon that are exclusive to each game. Uh, as with Red and Blue, you'll need uh, a friend who owns the opposite colored copy in order to catch all the Pokemon and either uh, Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire but other than that you really don't need to own uh, both of the games you can't really go wrong with either one uh, they're both uh, uh, you know very solid RPGs in their own right and they're both virtually identical Ruby and Sapphire play out like standard console RPGs you choose to play as either a boy or a girl and you name the character and then you set off on your quest and uh, start off you know pretty weak but eventually become one of the strongest, if not the strongest, uh, Pokemon trainers in the land. Uh, the game has a turn-based combat system that's fairly similar to that of other uh, RPGs, only here you're not doing the fighting yourself, but you get the Pokemon to do the dirty work for you. Uh, you could have up to six in your team. Uh, one of the new additions in Ruby and Sapphire is that you can occasionally engage in two-on-two -two battles with, uh, with your uh, different critters, except uh, usually it's still just a one-on-one -on -one match between one of your Pokemon and one of the opponents. The battle has an interesting kind of rock-paper-scissors system going for it, so for example, uh, a fire Pokemon will be really powerful against a wood Pokemon, uh, whereas a water Pokemon can uh, uh, take out a fire Pokemon without too much trouble. Uh, at the same time, the level of, uh, of your creature is going to have a lot to do with its, its relative power. Uh, so a very high level Pokemon will easily be able to demolish uh, basically anything that's uh, lower level than it. And this creates a bit of a problem in this single player campaign uh, where it's just kind of too easy a lot of the, uh, a lot of the time. Uh, your creatures are going to be a lot stronger than a lot of the creatures you come up against, except for in a few instances. So you'll pretty much be able to breeze through the game. Uh, granted, Pokemon is kind of intended for younger audiences, uh, but that doesn't mean, you know, a young, a younger kids don't necessarily suck at games. Uh, the game didn't have to be quite this easy. Uh, but other than that, it, it's really uh, quite fun. You'll, you'll go on to visit a lot of different places. You'll do things like, you know, ride cable cars and, and bikes and surf on the back of your uh, water Pokemon and all kinds of uh, weird things like that. It's, it's a nice, uh, light-hearted game. It's, it's got pretty good dialogue, even some kind of sci uh, science factoids uh, that are great for younger players. Um, and uh, it's really quite a lot of fun, and it's quite long, too. Uh, it'll take you about 20 hours to get just to the end, but even after you finish the game, uh, there's a lot more to, to this game that you could go on to play. Besides just duking it out, you can put your Pokémon into beauty pageants this time around, uh, kind of a best-in-show contest. Uh, there's a gambling center where you can play slot machines and roulette. Uh, you could build your own hidden fort. Uh, there are just all kinds of little extras in this game that, that really give it a lot of lasting value, especially if you have a friend to link up with and battle against and trade Pokémon with. Uh, like previous Pokémon games, this one is really well suited uh, just to being a multiplayer game, and you could have the, uh, even up to four players engage in these uh, tag team battles and, and stuff like that. Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire aren't a huge departure from previous Pokemon games, but really they don't need to be. This formula has been this successful just because it works. Uh, people have really enjoyed previous games in the series, and Ruby and Sapphire pretty much are giving them exactly what they want. 
The games are completely redrawn for the Game Boy Advance and look great. Uh, all the Pokemon are really imaginative and, and cute and have funny names that are also really descriptive. And uh, really, uh, it, it, the whole game is just a lot of fun. It's, it's not frustrating. Uh, there's, there's a surprising amount of depth to it, you know, certainly about as much as you'd find in any good uh, role-playing game for any system. And, and uh, really, this is a game that can be easily recommended uh, both to fans of the series and to anyone who, who's been hearing about it for all these years. It's, it's definitely one of those uh, don't knock it until you try it types of games uh, that just has a whole lot going for it and uh, is going to last you a good long time.